talk to us about some of the special players that you, you've had an opportunity to coach. Well, uh, that was you know what I was hoping to hop onto next is 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 the people that really made those records. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm on the other side of the sideline. Um, I'm not actually in the trenches, so. Uh, some of the special players, uh, I mean, we could, we've had seven girls in five years sign on to play college. Um, and you can talk about the Ashanti Currys, uh, who went on to the Naval Academy and um, for basketball, ultimately doing track now and about to graduate. Very successful young woman and is going to be a very successful adult. Um, you talk about that crew that was around her with Jarnay and, and Teresa. You talk about the great uh, leaders like you had, like a Lizzie Perez, who who unselfishly, uh, with the emergence of Kayla Stevens, who obviously I'm going to get to, Lizzie played the one, two, three, four, uh, and she never complained about any of it. Um, and then obviously with Kayla Stevens and the exclamation point of a career that she's put on that's going to be, I think, forever ingrained in this county is probably one of the best careers, male or female, uh, that, that you're going to see. Um, Courtney Mitchell uh, came in and went on to play college ball. She came in as an athlete, left as an athlete and a basketball player. Uh, you talk about uh, the two seniors that are, are right now, Adela Burrell and Eva Holloway, who are uh, casted with, with carrying on the torch. Um, and then um, and Courtney's little sister, Kayla, coming up, who is going to be a good post player for him next year. Uh, I know I'm forgetting some uh, because with that stretch of a run, you just you don't have that kind of record without the players. You don't have that record without the assistant coaches. Um, but uh, I think obviously uh, with as many that have been on to sign college ball, uh, regardless of the level, I think there's been a lot of special players. And, and it's, it's, what, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, it's hard. We've had girls you know, quit. I mean, not everybody likes to sweat and, and dive all over the place and maybe get yelled at for two hours a night and take a two-hour bus trip. Um, so any girl that has made it through the program uh, I believe has played an integral part in the success that we've had. Coach, uh, last year for Northside, there was uh, it was just a great sports year. Uh, men's basketball winning the 2A state championship. The women's basketball team getting getting so close to uh, facing a really good Michaela Boykin Clinton team. Uh, the men's football team making it to the 2A state championship. Just kind of talk to us about the atmosphere of, of Northside High School as a coach and, and how fun was it this past year? Well, uh, not only was it fun to watch the boys last year, uh, it has been, it's been a privilege to work with and learn from Coach Marshburn over the past several years. Uh, he and I have had many talks where uh, just through his past experience, let alone his current success, that I've been able to learn from. And Coach Pollock has, has become a good friend. And to watch him jump into his first year and, and to get up and uh, – be able to make that drive and go watch him have the opportunity to take those boys to a state championship. Uh, the athleticism in that building is phenomenal. Uh, what the coaches do with, with those players is is very commendable. Uh, both Coach Mosh Marshburn and, and Coach Pollock are, are very involved uh, and, and with their players. And, and you know, I, I believe that uh, on, we're, we all have our different styles, but I believe at the end of the day, we all have the same uh, characteristics that we demand, whether it's behaviorally or academically. Uh, and But once again, you have to have uh, the players that are willing to buy into those standards. And I think Northside is a special place because they do have those athletes that do that uh, and the coaches that are willing to put in the time with them. And I think you're seeing a result of that. And it's, it's been a lot of fun for our school in general.